Good morning, encouraging to wrong view. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of in-house cleaning here. The uh, lamp seal is part of the to make sure it's clean and presentable to customers is uh, is beyond all doubt. So, what have we got for you? Well, we had the main sale this week, so uh, that was that was pretty busy. A very good sale, over a million pounds, um, Hannah, and uh, some great prices in there. So often that leads to this this week's sale being a little bit quieter, just because there was so much going on with other things. But let's have a look and see. Uh, I've been noticing lots of these sort of brassware things, these uh, metal um, okay, blow torches. Uh, quite a run of those, of all sizes and shapes by the looks of things. There's some, presumably from the same job, we have uh, another one of sort of miners' lamps, etc. Some various brassware there. These um, Jacob Petty scent flasks, more or less. They're pretty large way of going about making a scent flask, but scent flasks they are. There is the uh, the neck for the stoppers, which are not present. They're kind of fun, but one, four, two, in at 50 to 80 pounds. Then, let's wander around. A fair old selection of paintings again. A little group here, there's a lot of little um, frameworks, perhaps came from publishers or something like that. A number of works by Godwin Bennett there. Um, three in the lot there, that's lot 495, in at 150 to 250. Curtains down below here. These come from a, uh, a Sussex property, uh, not too far away from Lewis, and um, they cost a fortune, no doubt, to have them made, but they obviously need to fit your space. But uh, that's got 152, the curtains, in at one to 200 pounds. You curtain quite a lot of the house if you so wish. Look at this piano, there we go, there's an old, old stalwart, isn't it? This came from uh, just north of Dorking, large property there, got 879, it's a boardwood. It's, it's, it's a venerable age, shall we say, but we're sort of looking at this carving and the legs and what have you. I think we're looking at it being around about 1900. It's actually called a Cottage Grand, no less, which is uh, a fun name for it, isn't it? Anyway, that's at two to three hundred pounds. Sounds like it's okay, actually. So um, there we go. Cheap piano for somebody who needs one. Down the line here, porcelain figures, James Lawson Stewart watercolours. Shelley coffee sets, Duke of Edinburgh playing polo. It's all here as ever. Uh, at the end, the uh, silver, and then sort of general general mixture there. <coughs> Usual sort of bits and pieces down there. Jewelry in the cabinet. I'm seeing some amber, a few gold wristwatches, various rings. Anything there, Summer? You've seen? That's rather funky, isn't it? That pendant. Yeah. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. 661, the aquamarine necklace. That, that looks like it might be quite pretty. So there's a few bits of jewellery there. Over the back, the sort of curiosity lots. Not as many as usual. A little run of robots. Come down from our Tom Wells office. Looks like some of them are in reproduction boxes. You'd have to look at those closely to see whether they are period robots or later copies. Not a later copies about for that sort of thing. <coughs> down the aisle here, again, vases, big Victorian clocks, wood thorpe woodcuts. Galley style vases. There we go, yes, in at 40 to 60 pounds. Not real galley. Uh, more crop vases and the like. Let's go and have a look in here. <coughs> so, well, good long set of dining chairs there. And what do we think? Let's have a look. Not period, but nice quality, solid mahogany. Eight dining chairs in the lot, three to 400 pound estimate. Something a bit more modern, these uh, kind of funky 50s aluminium chairs, 844, those are in at 80 to 120, and probably easier to sell to be honest. Big old settee there, if you like red, it's in at 50 to 70, so all, all sort of modest, come by me sort of estimates, there's a proper club arm chair, you drop in that with a gin and tonic, you'd never get out again, and uh, further round, this, uh, this is again, same property as the piano, this sort of Italian style um, painted and gilt table and chair. There we are, that is lot um, 822 and at two to three hundred pounds. Needs a bit of a clean up by the look of things. Um, so, yeah, usual mixture, bits of pine, one of these sort of chests come out of the workshop. These days, someone buy it, stick it in their kitchen. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Who saw that coming? Again, nice carved French ratcheted armchair here, um, lot 867. Nice old gilding on the leather. So that's not a bad looking thing there actually, and that could be just needs a bit of mending on the on the adjustment. Even a garden gate, it's nice, cast iron. Good solid gate that. That is uh, lot 834, 80 to 120 in the estimate. So otherwise we've got a nice bench here, stone bench. Uh, two to three hundred pounds, came from a property near Cookfield. 
I remember seeing that. Look rather nice. Once things, it's not it's not the oldest, but it's got some nice litching on it. And once stuff's grown up around it, that'll look the part. So good old mixture there. A bell, a bell no less. Church bell we say like eight thirty seven, two to three hundred pounds. Mm, here we are. So running back through, let's go and have a look in the main room. Couple of snaffles prints there. Simon Palmer prints. Van Starten oils. Various mixture there. Coming through. Little Paul Mays pastel, that's quite nice, Paul Mays. And uh, then in the main room, the furniture. We've got some fairly smart pieces of furniture here as well. Not a bad little bow front chest. Nice graduation in the drawers with the slide. Needs some work down the edge here. Therefore, we said two to three hundred pounds. Regency chiffonier, an ornate piece. Perhaps not the best configuration in terms of how these cupboards and the mirror work, but that's why it's in at four to six hundred. So, again, nice sensible estimate. I like that, that's not a bad little chest on stand. 700 to 1,000 estimate, it's it, as usual, partly original, the top typically is original, been later veneered on top, and then the stand has seen changes and alterations due to wear. We have um, this rather smart oak dining refectory table with chairs, almost identical to a model we sold here about a year ago, um, and uh, that's in at 1,500 to 2,000. High quality piece that. A run of funky artwork by Tiwat. Um, we've had a number of these in from a local charity who, uh, who inherited them. Uh, Love Cake, there we go. You get a run of those <coughs> for um, 100 to 200 estimate. And there's more of his sort of artwork here, such as the uh, chimp selfie and uh, the, the presumably play on the Charlie Hebdo at work there. And there we are, beautifully signed by the artist, Mr. Tiwat. So uh, it's all here, as ever, that's lot 516. Alternative dining suite to the oak one is this reproduction mahogany satin wood. So it's table and 12 chairs, lot 902, that's in at three to 500. A bargain for one, anyone who wants them, but um, as we know, these days, not everybody does. Uh, we've got some window seats, we've got some actually great portraits of elderly ladies. Should you need one, that's lot 530, it's in at two to three hundred pounds. And then other decorative works, that's left over from last week, hopefully see it sell this time. Some of these Thorny Stewart oils, there we are, that's the Thorny Stewart. It's um, from his exhibition in 1960, there he is, look at that. Right. Yeah, nice. So uh, these are probably South African coastal landscapes actually. And um, three to five hundred there. And three to five hundred there, so there we go, we're consistent in our estimates. Uh, from the property near Dorking, these rather large painted screens, decorated with uh, sort of chinoiserie style figures, pair of them, lot 928, 8 to 1200 estimate. And then finally, going into the, uh, the entrance gallery, the nice little sort of oak dresser base, just quite a nice decorative thing, had a rack at one time that's gone, gone away now. Draws run, pop board a little bit warped, but it's, it's character and it's colour, and it's in at two to three hundred. Again, nice sensible estimate. There's his carved oak desk, and, and something a bit different. You know, have a think. What do you think this big thing is? Well, it was a post office counter, apparently, a Victorian post office counter. Uh, who knows what it will become next? Maybe um, one of these vintage retro funky barber shops would like it, perhaps someone would like it for their kitchen, we, we just don't know these days, but anyway, that is in at one to two hundred pounds, lot 935, with the huge lantern clock showing a pos upon it, that's at 940, four to six hundred, so as ever, whole mixture here for you to come and look at, have a look online, any queries, send us an email, the boys love your condition report requests, the stranger the better, it keeps them on their toes, and we're selling it all on Monday, I think I'm on the rostrum this time, so look forward to seeing you 10 o'clock Monday, thank you.